Hello, welcome to NBA Talk with Jordan Valdez. First things first, let's get started with today's matchups. And our first matchup is Kirk Heinrich versus Jordan Crawford. Kirk Heinrich is the starting point guard for the Atlanta Hawks. Um, he can also play shooting guard. He was traded in the huge Mike Bibby deal uh, that uh, went down between Atlanta and Washington uh, uh, right before the trade deadline this season. He's a very, very good de defensive point guard. Um, he was backing up John Wall in Washington this season before he was traded. Uh, he got injured in the first round of the playoffs against uh, when the uh, Atlanta Hawks played the um, Orlando Magic, but and so he wasn't available to play his former Bulls team. But he did uh, help the Hawks with strategic uh, methods on the bench, like. Um, because he knew so much about Derrick Rose. He played with Derrick Rose one year. Okay, so Jordan Croft, the reason I chose this matchup was because I'm, I'm trying to assess whether it was worth trading um, Kirk Heinrich to get Jordan Crawford. I feel Jordan Crawford, as soon as he went to Washington, he just became a scoring machine. He's a shooting guard. He's there. He, he immediately got, he pretty, he almost immediately got the starting job for Washington. Um, <clears throat> I just think that this is, a very interesting matchup, and uh, now that the season's over, we can kind of better assess that than right when the trade went down. Atlanta really had trouble defending um, Jameer Nelson, even with Kirk Heinrich in. So that, and that's really why they got Kirk Heinrich to defend other point guards. They still won, but I feel that Kirk Heinrich could have played better defense on Jameer. But uh, I think that Mike Bibby, if, if Jameer uh, was scoring on Kirk Heinrich, I feel that maybe if you were playing against Mike Bibby that he would have scored more. I'm going to give this matchup to Jordan Crawford, though. He's younger. He has so much potential. He's just a scoring machine for the Wizards, literally. Uh, so I think he deserves that matchup. Our next matchup is Eric Gordon versus Ray Allen. Eric Gordon, starting shooting guard for the Los Angeles Clippers. He was injured for a lot of the season. Uh, but he's very good. He was ranked number 8 on Slam Magazine's top 10 players that will make the top 500 list in the next edition. Uh, he hasn't made an All-Star game yet. He's only been in the league since 2008. Very good 3-point shooter, just like Ray Allen, who is a veteran shooting guard, starting shooting guard for the Boston Celtics, made the All-Star team this year. Holds the all-time record for most 3-pointers made. Um, he's just a very, very good shooter, but he can also drive to the hole. That's what makes him so... He can do so many things. I'm going to give this matchup to Ray Allen right now. I think that right now he's just uh, such a good uh, player, uh, but I think that in a, in a few years, Eric Gordon might uh, be better. He's just, he, Eric Gordon just is younger and has so much potential, so I'm going to give this matchup to Ray Allen for, uh, for, the, meanwhile, for uh, the meantime. And now let's talk NBA headlines. The Indiana Pacers' Roy Hibbert to appear on the show Parks and Recreation tonight at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time on NBC, and you can check that out. He, he uh, sent a tweet to all his fans saying that uh, they should uh, watch it, so, you can go, so if you're a Pacers fan, you can go support Roy Hibbert by tuning your TV into to NBC. Uh, thank you for watching NBA Talk with Jordan Valdez, but before I go, I want to say that... Uh, the web, so you should definitely check out our website, uh, jvmbatalk.weebly.com. You, there's an NBA forum. You can chat with other NBA fans, and you can watch the, you can watch uh, the show, uh, obviously, and um, also uh, you can check NBA scores uh, once the lockout's over. It's already on there, but it just gives you NBA news for the meantime. But uh, then uh, once once, there's a, once games start being played, it'll show you. Uh, the score, and you can check that out right from my NBA Talk website. So you should definitely check that out. Uh, thank you for watching NBA Talk with Jordan Valdez, and I'll see you next time.